Hi everybody, today in front of me I have Motorola Moto G82 smartphone and in this video we would like to show the top 5 best display settings to change on this device. So let's go ahead and open the display category of settings first. Just like so. So the first setting that we would highly recommend that you try playing with, that you try changing is called lock screen and in here you can uh, configure and set up some of the lock screen behaviors so for example you can decide what notification content will be shown like all notification content any notification content or uh, show the sensitive content only when the device will be unlocked you can add some custom text to your lock screen for example I'll type in something like that once I lock my screen and get myself to the lock screen oh, I'll see that the sign the characters that we have just typed in appear right here I'll unlock the phone real quick. Next we can decide whether the wallet will be shown or the device controls. Alrighty, so the next setting that we would like to show in this video is called Nightlight. So let's go ahead and find it. Here it is. Once turned on, as you can see, it makes everything look warmer. It achieves so by filtering out the excess amounts of blue lights and also by enabling the night light feature, you prevent your eyes from being tired or tired too much at least. And it drastically reduces the level of an eye fatigue once you work with your with the screen of your phone for too long. Here, uh, once stepping on this option, you can regulate the intensity of this effect, so basically, um, going from very cool to very warm color scheme set some schedule for it to be automatically enabled or disabled that's what you can do as well already so we are moving on to the next setting that we would uh, like to show you in this video and it's located right below the nightlight called colors here we are able to well, somehow regulate the color scheme that is currently applied so there are two presets that we can choose from, either natural or saturated, and there is also the bar for regulating the color temperature of our interface as well. And conveniently on the top of the screen right here you have a very colorful picture in order for you to see what will the colors that you have this that you have set will look like exactly. Next uh, there is the display refresh rate setting that has three values so you can either go for 60 Hz and get yourself uh, a longer battery life therefore your phone will uh, run significantly longer on the single battery charge or you can go with 120 Hertz as per the screen refresh rate and get the smoothest animation scrolling experience and like overall visual appearance of your system or you can just go ahead uh, choose the auto value and once chosen, it will make sure to switch between 60 and 120 Hz in accordance with the current system, state in general, and battery condition and left battery health in particular. Alrighty, so the final setting, the final configuration that we were to show you in this video of the display category of settings is called Peak Display, and basically it is better known, its better known name is the Always On Display, so let's go ahead and turn it on and go to its settings. Here we can change the clock style that is going to be shown, so I'll go with this one, I like it the most, press on done. Choose whether the background of our clock will be animate, animated or not. I'll leave it at animated for example. Next we can uh, choose whether we want tap to wake feature to be enabled, so I'll tap. And as you can see our uh, peak display wakes up immediately and some other things like vibrate on touch and uh, we can also block some apps from sending their notifications to the big display so it will not be displayed at a big display <laughs> or at the always on display so there is not much more to this big display configuration so that was it for this video thank you so much for watching and bye bye